let's start again. Import a picture. There's one we found earlier. Click open. And drag it up to a size. Use the zoom extent to make it as big as possible. Select line tool and draw a line on the plan to give you a reference for example the wingspan. Use the escape key, the space key to select. We now want the tape measure tool and we measure that line. the tape measure tool, we ignore what it says on the span but we type in the span we want in this case I'm going to put in 18 for 18 inches and it asks do we want to resize the model and we say yes which makes a small picture so we use the zoom extents tool to fill up the picture again now the model size now, or the picture size now, is 18 inches for half a span, so it gives you 36 inches for a full model at the one-to-one -one size. You use the space bar to get your selection arrow, select the line and delete it because we don't need the line. Now the thing about SketchUp is it prints what it sees. So with a full screen widescreen like this. The picture in the middle we're going to get loads of blank edges and that is not what we want. So we'll re reduce the size of the window so that it literally just gets the plan in. Right now, printing is best done under. Oh no, it's not best done under. You've got to do printing under parallel projection in the camera view. With that view, we have got the axes. We don't really want to print the axes, so under the view, we take the axes off. Right, also if you look at that, what's included in that window. We've got a lot of blank area down here, which will only print out as white sheets. Um, so really all we want is... The minimum. Oh, it's going to keep pulling it back, is it? Okay. Right, we'll fiddle this up until we get a bigger picture. And we'll use the, the zoom to zoom until we get no literally to fit what we want to print. Now that is hopefully what we want to print. Um, the edges are close all around the pictures and that is what you will print. So if you go up to the file menu now and you check your print preview not sure what the model extents does but that's going to give us 25 pages portrait pages. I'm checking the properties. We've got it portrait. Let's click on landscape just to check how many pages we're going to get. Okay. And we close it again. We go back again. I'm going round in circles. Print preview. We've got 28 pages. 
Oops, so the other one was better. Go back again, portrait. Okay. Click OK. Okay, you'll see there is not. any spare white around. <laughs> 